Hello, my beautiful friends. Do I have a whale of a tail for you? It is such a big tail, you are not going to believe it's true. <laughs> Told you, I have a whale of a tail. Tail of a whale. Anyway, don't worry. I'm not going to quit my day job. I know I'm no comedian, that's for sure. I have here a wooden whale tail that I found at AC Moore, and I'm going to do an ocean themed resin pour on it. I've gotten some shells from some lovely uh, subscribers of mine, Tina and Linda, so I'm going to use some of those. I believe I also got from Linda some glass. I'm not sure if it came from her. I'm sorry if it wasn't from you. Some beach, uh, some sea glass. I'm sorry. And uh, so I'm going to try to incorporate these things into this tail. So what I'm going to do is I've already gone ahead and painted the wood with some acrylic paint. Now, here's the thing. I did put a couple of layers. I did spray paint first. And then I, I did two layers of spray paint. I hand painted the edges with a matching paint. And chances are I'm still going to get some air bubbles because um, wood, you know, for me, no matter how many times I prime it, I still get them. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to babysit it. I'm going to make sure that if it does cure with any bubbles in it, they're not going to be a big distraction because I'm going to do multiple layers on this anyway. So if I have to sand down in between layers, I will. Now, people always ask me this about the sanding part in between layers. My rule that I follow is if I make a resin piece and within a couple of days I do a second layer on it, I do not sand. The bond is so strong on resin, it, it's, I can't foresee it ever separating. It's never happened to me. Now, I am not a professional on the science behind it or can guarantee that it won't happen. I can just tell you my experiences. Now, if it had been sitting for a couple of weeks, then I would give it a light sanding and then uh, coat the top. But... As I said about the bubbles, if they happen, I will sand and then we'll do layer two and three and then we'll be good. So anyway, let me get started. I'm going to, on time lapse, paint my beach area. Okay, so as much as I would love to use some of these shells that these women have sent me, because let me tell you something, they are gorgeous. I have to stick with some smaller ones because the piece, it's, you know, it's a big tail, but the beach area is very small and I don't want it to look awkward with big shells. So I picked a couple from what they sent to me that were kind of on the smaller side, but these women went way, way above the call of duty here with these shells. Some of them are amazing. And I'm going to do another ocean pour 
within the next couple of weeks where I'm going to use these bigger ones because, I mean, come on. I would love to use this one here and another this one here that Linda had sent me for this right now. I mean, it would match so perfectly, but too big for the area. So I'm definitely going to commit to doing a square canvas uh, ocean pour to use these up. But for now, I picked out a couple of little dainty ones here. And then those were from Linda. This one was from Tina. Again, ladies, thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. I wish I had enough time in life to do all the things I want to do. But it's, you know, between trying out different products and just life, there isn't enough time in a day. I did find these baby craft sticks, though, on a side note. Maybe I could stop breaking my uh, popsicle sticks in half and getting splinters in my fingers from them. So, by the way, the colors I used in the beach scene, I was showing you a couple of colors that I pulled out to decide from, but forgot I was on time lapse, and you probably didn't even see the names. So, the ones I did use were Unbleached Titanium, which is a very tan shade, as you can see. I used a little bit of the Iridescent Bright Gold. I used some of the Iridescent Bronze Fine. And then I used some of Arteza's um, Burnt Sienna. And as you saw, I just kind of feathered it down into the tan color. So I'm going to mix up my resin and we are going to start this. I will be right back. Okay, so I've mixed up. Way too much resin by the looks of it now. I mixed up 400 milliliters, which is approximately 14 ounces, 13 or 14 ounces. And I have not mixed up my colors yet. I'm going to do them one at a time because if I have leftover resin, then I can go ahead and coat a painting with it. So first thing I'm going to do is put some clear over here to protect my beach. And then, after I spread this out here, get it going over the edge. This will be a multi-layer project, so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is beat my cat, who is in here again somehow. Get out. Get. Psst. Sorry, guys. I swear they hide everywhere. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cup. I'm going to put some resin in it. I have a cut some of the resin tint by art resin that I never used and I want to use them up before they're no good because they are liquid I don't know if there's a shelf life on them usually I use my resin art tints but because I paid $50 for these and I've had them forever I want to start using them to get rid of them so not saying that they're bad I've never even used them we'll see I have turquoise and blue when you do an ocean theme, you need a couple of opaque colors and you need some tints or you do all tints, but you need an all opaque ocean is not going to show you a lot of depth the way that having these tints mixed in would. So I don't even know how much of this to add in there. I'm sure it says on here somewhere. And it is in another language. Awesome. But I see 
the words, the numbers 10 to 50. <laughs> Maybe that's drops. Let's see. Let's mix this in and see how it, how it looks. It's a nice turquoise color. Yeah, good for what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to just start kind of plopping it down in some areas. I want to put the colors on the tail kind of mixed up. I don't want like a big area of this and then a small area of another color. I kind of want to proportion it. And when I get down towards the beach, I definitely want to have a lot more of the clearer, not clearer, the uh, transparent colors down there. Yeah. Okay, so that's that color. Then I'm going to come in with some Andromeda. By resin art. Actually, I should start saying by color art because they're the ones that make it. Resin art is the name of the product. So this is the new Andromeda. And I'm going to show you this color. This is in the Galaxy Diamond line. And it looks purple in the cup, but when it dries, it's a very deep, sparkly royal blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to put some of that down. And yes, as I said, it's going to look purplish, but it does dry to a really nice blue. So some of that here and there. Speaking of color art, I will mention it again in case you didn't hear it in yesterday's video or by the time this posts, it'll be a couple of days ago. Um, having a huge contest, grand prize. There's four prizes in total. Grand, first, second, and third. Uh, grand prize is $500 gift certificate. So $500 worth of product. Um, then it goes down to $250, $125, and $75, I believe. I have the information linked in the box below. And if you click on that link, it will take you to... The page where all the rules are, you're going to have to have some products. The main ones being some colors, probably. Or actually, the rules say 75% color art products. So you definitely need these. This is what the contest is all about. Incorporating these big flakes or the next size down into your piece. It may be all the flakes. Just read up on it. Look. But anyway, if you need to or want to join that contest, I have a code uh, in the box below with 25% off your order, your total order, no minimum purchase required. And it's open to all countries. And here's the kicker. If you're out of the country and you win, Color Art is going to pay for your shipping so that you don't have to pay all those crazy fees. So, how much better does it get? 
All right, so there's that color. Next, I'm going to mix up some uh, doo -doo 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 of the other art resin tint. And this one is blue. It's called the blue. I'm just squirting some in there. And then after that one, I have two more colors and then I'm done. With colors, that is. So this is just your royal blue, I guess. So with that, I'm going to go over a little bit of that and kind of just spread it out. Just make sure you have a little bit of each color everywhere. Pretty much. All right. So that color is done. I'm going to start saving these sticks and reusing them. So I'm tired of buying them now. Just wipe them off. Let them dry. And you can reuse them. All right. So last color I'm doing is Sea Foam by Color Art. Another beautiful sparkly color. And I probably should have did that one before I did the blue tint. So I could have put some of it on top of that too. Because this is just looking magical. Now I already noticed this is trying to come down into my beach. So I'm going to put some cups under there and try to lift it a little bit. So it'll go back. Go back home. So this is the sea foam. The most sparkly mint color. It's so beautiful. And I'm just going to plop it in there. You guessed it. <laughs> no big surprise. This color I'm going to be a little more random with because I don't want it to really lighten all everything up. So I'm going to kind of just squiggle it through there a little bit. And then more of it down here than anywhere really. Okay, so that's it for that, the colors. Now I'm going to mix up some white. I'm just using this up for the edges here. So I know it'll go over. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to do some white, not much, just a little cup of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this leftover resin because I don't want it to start getting hot on me quick because I'm going to use that for my other painting. If I leave it all together like that, it will be a brick in no time. So, yeah, just separate it. Okay. 
And I could leave a little bit in there, but not all of that. So now it's time to make the white. And I'm going to get out my white here. I'm running out of room again. Okay. There's my white. And before I add it, I'm gonna move my colors around just a little bit. Heating it up first. Just gonna gently move them a little bit. Okay, just a little bit then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to come right here and I'm gonna go like this come back Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my rest of my clear down here to push this back a little bit. Hopefully it'll go back. I don't want the beach covered. And now I'm going to add my white and start blowing it. So let's say we want a little wave here. All right. So now I'm going to move that a little bit.
Again, this is only the first layer. So I'm not really concerned about what the waves look like, just that there's some white in there. That's it for this one, my friends. I'm going to, here come my bubbles, going to let that uh, set up. While I'm at it though, I might as well place my pretty little shells. Let them cure in there overnight. Again, thank you, Linda and Tina. And I'm going to pop some of these bubbles. But what I'll have to do is keep coming back to babysit them. It's only one spot here. So now the process is you let this cure. The next day you come back, you do another layer lighter. Then the third layer is the lightest of them all. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then that's how you start seeing that depth. And I can show you what I'm talking about in another piece that I have. So here's another piece I have and you can see the depth in there. This one was about five layers. This is the pink sand beach of Bermuda. It is a huge painting. You see it sideways there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, that is, uh, that is how you achieve depth by doing those layers. Anyway, then here is this one so far. I'll probably push this white that's on the beach a little bit further back. But... Besides that, I'm going to leave it alone and let it cure so that I can get going on the next layer. So I will see you in the blink of an eye. It is now 24 hours later and this layer is dry. So I'm going to start on my second layer. And for that, I'm not going to be using any pigments that have shimmer in them. We already have enough of that. We're going to be using a lot of tints and clear. So for the tints, I'm going to use the same two that I used earlier. And I'm adding in Bahama Mama by Resin Art. So for the Resin Art tint, what I need to do first is I need to get a little cup of alcohol and make a little not paste, it needs to be a little bit more runnier than paste. So there's about a half a teaspoon of 99% alcohol in there. I'm gonna take my 
tint here and I'm going to put a little scoop of it in. So now basically what I have is an alcohol ink pretty much, okay? Now I could take this concoction and with a pipette, if I wanted to, I can drop in a drop of a time at a time to get the desired color that I'm looking for. You can make it lighter, you can make it darker. And if you have the new Milky Way Galaxy Diamond color, you could also turn this into a shimmery uh, color. And I will show you that actually, why not? Maybe I'll use a little tiny bit of it. So here is, here are two cups. All right, and for the first one, I'm just going to do the color without the Milky Way added to it. So put one, two, three, four, five drops of that in there. And then I'm gonna give it a stir to see what it looks like. So right now I have a nice aqua color And that's gonna be perfect for down by my beach area, that shade. But now let me show you what happens if you add the Milky Way to this color. So we'll do the same thing again to this color cup. One, two, three, four, five drops. And let me not use that one, it's not open yet. No, and neither is that one. I guess I grabbed the wrong two. I have one that's open already, but that's okay. We can use this one. So now, let's put in a little tiny bit of that Milky Way. So now I have that same aqua color, but with beautiful sparkle in it. All right, so I'm going to divvy up my resin here. As I said, I'm going to be using more clear. The way that you build this depth is each layer you do, you use less opaque and more transparent colors. So, two, three, four. I'm gonna put some color in each of these cups. Or some resin, I mean. It's about an ounce in each cup. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit more to one of these cups and I'm going to add in this turquoise color. Oh, what is this? Oh, bye-bye. So I'm going to 
start putting this down just like I did the first layer. Just gonna flip that right there for a minute. Then next, I'm going to mix up some of the blue. I love this shade here for ocean. It's that greeny blue color. Well, it's turquoise, but it's just got this that color there that I like. All right, so now. Here comes the blue again. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna remove this cup. I'm gonna place this one over here. Then, I really like this Bahama Mama color, so what I'm going to do is dump this into this cup and make some more of it. That ink is so, the pigment of those resin art tints, so pigmented, has so much color. Like, I added to that, and it's still pretty bright for uh, how much I just added. I am going to add a couple more drops, but it really is good quality there. All right, so this I'm going to concentrate on using lower towards the beach area. have a little bit up here but majority of it I want it down here so I want to be able to see some of that sparkle down here All right and then what I'm going to do is take the rest of my color or the rest of my resin and sort of start intermingling it first we're going to cover up the beach here beach area I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping outside they are so loud today all right so we have that down pretty good so what I'm going to do is, because I do want some of the background to show through, so I'll just add some clear in some spots. And then the last color I'll need is some white again.
Also pouring that clear over the colors, it kind of pushes them down. And that really helps too with the depth. Now I also have here that little bit that I mixed up. So let's use that too with the uh, Milky Way in it. And speaking of, let's close this before I look like a Milky Way. <laughs> So let's just weave it through over here and a few spots in here. Now I'm going to take my stick and kind of just run it through. Use your fingers, whatever you want. Don't worry about the colors mixing together. That's what's going to give you that awesome effect of the movement of the ocean. You want that. You want them to intermingle. Okay, so now all we have left to do is our white, but first we need to move this around a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just to kind of get it going a little bit. it up to the edge here. Ready? Now I'm going to mix up my white and we will uh, do our waves. Maybe. First I have to find my white. <laughs> of course, the second I pause you guys to look for my white, I find my white. So again, you don't need a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm going to dump some of this clear I have in this cup back into this other cup because you just don't need that much. And actually, I'm not going to dirty a cup. I'll just use this one. Okay. So just like yesterday, if you want the, the, 
wave to look like it's got layers to it. What I like to do is make these little V's. So this is going to be the upper part of the wave, and that's the wave, and that's going to be the lower part of the wave. I'm just looking around. I'm going to put one here. So they're sideway V's. And you'll be amazed at how well it works. Now for down here, just put some little tiny foamy sea foam down there. This is the perfect time if you have an area you don't like to start uh, covering it with your waves. Like I don't like that area right there. Alright. I'm going to do one more here. I do like this area, but I feel like it needs one more. All right, so now you're going to take the heat gun. You're going to blow this one up, this one down, and then this one down and this one up. Watch. Or actually, I'll start right here with this one. So move this up. Move this down, move this down, move this up. Okay, and just go back and forth until you shape a wave that you like. So again, the upper goes up, the bottom goes down, upper goes down, bottom goes up. Okay. I'm going to lift my tail. That sounds funny. Lift my tail up a little bit over here. So I feel like it's going to all fly off on me. That may be too high. I am taking this table out of here this weekend. So my leveling problem will be solved. Almost lost them there. So just play around with it until you get something you like. You could also come in with a straw.
So you can also take a straw, as I mentioned, and shape them the way you want to. Now this area here, I have to clean up. So I have a little bit of clear resin. That's gonna help with that. I'm just gonna move stuff back. Now, if you have a level table, you won't have this problem. Okay, so we got some nice movement going in here. And obviously I'm gonna keep playing with it until I get the waves to look the way that I want. Um, it's not far fetched. fetched. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a dragon. That's pretty cool. It's not far fetched for a wave to go up and come down sideways in areas, so. It's all what you want. The reason why I switched to the straw is because I don't want to keep adding a lot of heat because it's just making it run more and making it go fly off my board. So that's why I'm using the straw now to shape it. So I'm going to continue to work on this until I get the waist the way I like it. And then we will come back for the final layer. All right, so I'm on to my last layer here. Before I get into it, though, I want to show you something. So this was the cup that I originally put the resin art tint and the 99% alcohol in. And then I made the, we'll call it alcohol ink. And I took a couple of drops from this cup of that ink and put it into my resin. Well, you can see it dried up because it's alcohol, it evaporates quick. But I wanna show you how easy it is to reactivate this stuff. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of alcohol, put it back in there. Swirl it around a bit, and guess what? It's good to go again. So if you end up buying the tints and do this, don't throw away these cups if you have a lot left in the bottom because you're going to see right now that it works just the same as before. Here we go. That was about seven drops because I had a little more elk, uh, resin in there than the last time. And now literally this will sit and dry up and I may use it just another time. If it works, why not, right? So I'm mixing it in here. And there we go. We have the nice light aqua color, just lightly tinted. So now then I'm on to my last layer. You're gonna notice I use a majority of clear with a lot less color on this layer. 
as you start out, you start with your darkest colors. Second layer, you use less of those darker colors, more of the tints. And then third layer, you're using a lot more clear and a little bit of tint, no opaque colors. And that's how you're building that depth. The only part I am not happy with on this is my beach area down here. I got some blue in it. And by the way, this is not cured at all. It's only been sitting four hours, but it's firm enough for me to pour on top of it. I am loving, I'm going to show you this image afterwards. It looks just like a dragon coming out of the, the wave. So I do not want to cover that. This area I love, so the areas that I really love, I'm going to put down clear in those areas to try to protect them. Not sure if you can see the image upside down, but I'll tell you what, gorgeous. So again, with the clear down here, I hope I mixed up enough this time. And then I'll just kind of drizzle it around. I have to be careful spreading it. So as I said, it's not cured. So I really don't want to press my stick in that too hard. Just want to get these areas protected that I want to keep. Okay. And now I'm going to start adding everything but the white. So this lightest area, this lightest color that I have this, that I just made with the tint, I'm going to put that down through here. You're barely going to see it because it's so light. Okay. have to be careful over here I have to watch this I don't want that darker blue to come into my beach I shouldn't really shouldn't have put it down there so we have that color done and then the last one we have is the turquoise
Okay, so again, as before, I'm just going to move the colors around a little bit to spread it out. spots but that's okay because I still have to put my white in I'm just peeking from the side here to see where they all are you know I have a couple that I definitely want to get before I do the white doing this very lightly as I said it's still wet underneath so or I should say not fully cured it's not wet Okay, so now it's time for the white. And this, because it's my last layer, I have to carefully plan where I put these. So, I definitely want one right here crashing down onto this wave. We have one there. Definitely want one right here. One over here, because I'm not really happy with this wave.
have it go up with this if we can. And then I definitely need one right here, right smack dab in the middle. A little bit, little bits here. I'm gonna try to cover up that little bit of blue that I got on my beach that I'm not liking. Have it come down this way and then over here I would love to have one come down like this Let's start with that, see how it looks. Maybe do one more here, this little one. We are gonna call this piece something with the word dragon in it. Because I'm telling you, there is a sea dragon in there. Which, to us New Englanders, we have something like the Loch Ness Monster, the myth of it anyway. We have that in Lake Champlain, Vermont, where I spent many of my summers, called Champ. Mystical creature. So now I'm just looking to see how I want to shape these. I'm going to go very easy with them. There's something in my resin here, but that's okay because I like the effect that it just gave that wave. So I'm not going to remove it yet. Beautiful. Absolutely love them. Unfortunately, That is it. Oh, I forgot this up here. Well, I couldn't forget it. It just didn't move enough for my liking. So, because my resin is not cured underneath, the Res, the new resin is having a very hard time moving because it is sticky, but that's okay because I like the effect that I've gotten and I'm going to leave it alone. I am loving, loving, loving this now. And 
that's all she wrote, my friends. So, yeah, this little piece, this little one here. And when this is dry, I'll do a top coat over it. So I'm not really worried about that. I always do top coats on my paintings to preserve them. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it. I love it. I'm happy that it's not able to move a lot. That saves me. So let me just torch this and I will show you the final piece here. a few things to pick out but besides that she is done a few things to pick out and then I gotta look at it sideways to see if there's some bare spots which I know there's a couple I can see them already and then once it's dry, I'll go over and do one last coat on the top of it, and it will be beautiful. Let me start by showing you my little dragon. That looks just like one of those Chinese dragons that you see for Chinese New Year. But you can see the depth that is really <laughs> crazy. There is a lot of, of movement and depth that is not even showing up on the camera. So there you have her. That would look beautiful in any vacation home, any nautical themed room. It is for sale. If anybody's interested, it will have a glass-like finish when it is complete. So if you're interested, contact me at artbytammy at yahoo.com. We're going to name this Dragon of the Sea. It just came to me. This area here looks so turbulent, and this... This wave, these waves look like they're behind it and, oh wow, this is truly amazing. So again, Linda and Tina, thank you for the shells. You are now part of a piece of my artwork forever in my heart also. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed and liked this video, please do so. And until next time, my friends, happy pouring.